In this video, I'd like to introduce you to the concept of UCS, or User Coordinate System. And the way this comes in handy is for those of you who are working on the MACMER project. And as you can see, you've got a building that is not oriented with AutoCAD's axis in terms of it being true north or south. We could take the whole thing and rotate, but there's another way of dealing with this so that as you draw lines, they might be perpendicular or parallel to the sides of the building. So, all you'll need to do is type in the command UCS. And you'll notice that up here, there's this says WCS. That's the world coordinate system that you've started with as you begin to define your AutoCAD drawing. UCS is really just a local coordinate system. It's first asking us for the origin. What you might do is just simply pick the bottom left-hand corner of your courtyard and then specify a point along the x-axis, which we would want to be the face of the building, and just simply click a second point. And to accept this plane as our new XY coordinate, we just simply hit return. So, if you can see in the background, and why don't we turn off this background drawing, unselect our layer, and turn this off. And you can see now that the grid has turned itself to our new angle so that all of those lines are parallel to the building. And so if we come and select a polyline and we turn ortho on, you'll notice that items that we draw are now perpendicular and parallel to the sides of our building. And so this is a way of creating rectilinear objects within a new framework. And there are many ways in which you can define this UCS. Let's reset to world coordinate system, and you can see the grid has shifted. And another way of defining UCS is to come and select the object. And so what we can simply do is if we wanted it to be aligned with this red line, we can just simply click that and you'll can, can see that the grid has now aligned itself with that object. So it's a very simple process of aligning your grid or your UCS with objects within your design or specifying an angle. So we can shuffle back to our previous line or we could also name this UCS. So experiment with this and it will make your life a lot easier once you become accustomed to working with the user coordinate system. 